Kamu We as the Ukrainian movement, as the London Euromaidan movement, were gathered here today to protest at the French embassy against the Mistral warship deal between France and Russia that was initially signed by President Sarkozy uh, in 2011 and has been upheld by uh, the current President uh, Francois Hollande. We're also protesting against President Hollande's invitation to Vladimir Putin to have a private dinner with him on uh, the 5th of June in Paris, the, the evening prior to the D-Day commemorations and also to commemorate the D-Day celebrations on 6th of June. Uh, now, why are we gathered here today? Why is this topic important at, at the present climate? Uh, Russia has, for all intents and purposes, invaded Ukraine. It has been funding terrorism, it has, has sent in soldiers covert, uh, covertly to eastern Ukraine and also to Crimea, the illegally, illegally cri annexed Crimea, and by France, which actually signed up to the Budapest Memorandum after the UK, Russia and America post-94 as a guarantor of Ukraine's sovereignty by them supplying two Mistral warships, helicopter carrier ships. It is reinforcing uh, the Russian, uh, the fascist Russian regime, the, the uh, Putin's regime of actually imposing itself on a neighboring country which has, has its own sovereignty, which has been independent since 1991. Now, this is very important. Why? because this can destabilize not only Ukraine, but the whole of the European continent. We, we are protesting here today to, to make the French aware that we're not happy with what's happening there, to, to make President Hollande aware that this, this shouldn't be occurring. And in a civil society, in a Western ide idealistic society with mor morals and actual sort of a democracy and, and liberties, that we want this to stop. And we want also NATO to consider buying these mystery warships. Now, Half the funding has already been given for, for the first warship, and that's due to be in October 2014. However, uh, even though the, the Foreign Minister, Lauren Fabius, has said that the deal cannot be broken, Russia has already broken all international laws regarding what, what it's been doing in Ukraine. Therefore, the, the, this contract is null and void, and NATO can actually either lease these ships or they can actually buy these ships off, off uh, France. So we would demand that France consider this, strongly consider this, and make the decision. And we urge NATO and, and all the state members to actually consider this. Russian 